Hi, welcome to the video of my project of dyeing popsicle sticks and seeing what I can make out of it. For this next minute, you'll see me tending to the different dye baths of the popsicle sticks. Uh, some of these have been soaking for about a day or two. The oranges didn't need to soak as long because that dye was more strongly pigmented. But then the lime green that we'll go to next was a very light color, so that needed to be in there for a few days. There really may not be any scientific reason for me to be turning these. It's just really fun, and I like the sound that it made. It was satisfying and hands-on. Really, it's also just to make sure that the dye is getting to all sides of the stick and that they're as evenly coated as they could be. If some were at the bottom, they would get more strongly pigmented than the ones at the top if they weren't turned. And this is my little workstation. Here I am starting to add the different colors together. I'm working in blocks because those are more manageable to build and it does make the structure stronger to have uh, multiple points of glue that are weaving together rather than um, all pieces going the same direction. I think this also provides a good visual texture and pattern for the piece. Overall, this took a few days to build. Each time I sat down, it would take about an hour or two to apply. So this does take quite a lot of time as it's gluing each stick by stick and figuring out how to get those cross sections while also making sure it's secure enough to support itself. So I got my table back from the back of my car and this structure is also getting a bit too big to work on the floor with. So we moved to the table and more of the same, just adding block by block. We're getting closer to a point where I'm going to hang the structure on the wall to make sure that it supports itself. And here you can see it hanging. And looking at it from afar, I see parts that I want to add more to.